Chapter 14. Abram Rescues Lot About this time war broke out in the region. King Amraphel of Babylonia, King Arioch of Eleser, King Cadolaomer of Elam, and King Tidal of Goyim fought against King Bera of Sodom, King Bersha of Gomorrah, King Shinab of Adma, King Shem-Eber of Zeboim, and the King of Bela, also called Zoar. The second group of kings joined forces in Siddim Valley, that is, the Valley of the Dead Sea. For twelve years they had been subject to King Cadolaomer, but in the thirteenth year they rebelled against him. One year later, Cadolaomer and his allies arrived and defeated the Rephaites at Ashtaroth Kerneum, the Zuzites at Ham, the Emites at Sheva Kiriathaim, and the Horites at Mount Seir, as far as El Paran at the edge of the wilderness. Then they turned back and came to En Mishpat, now called Kadesh, and conquered all the territory of the Amalekites, and also the Amorites living in Hazazan Tamar. Then the rebel kings of Sodom, Gomorrah, Adma, Zeboim, and Bela, also called Zoar, prepared for battle in the Valley of the Dead Sea. They fought against King Cadolaomer of Elam, King Tidal of Goyim, King Amraphel of Babylonia, and King Arioch of Eleser, four kings against five. As it happened, the valley of the Dead Sea was filled with tar pits, and as the army of the kings of Sodom and Gomorrah fled, some fell into the tar pits, while the rest escaped into the mountains. The victorious invaders then plundered Sodom and Gomorrah and headed for home, taking with them all the spoils of war and the food supplies. They also captured Lot, Abram's nephew who lived in Sodom, and carried off everything he owned. But one of Lot's men escaped and reported everything to Abram the Hebrew, who was living near the oak grove belonging to Mamre, the Amorite. Mamre and his relatives Eshcol and Aner were Abram's allies. When Abram heard that his nephew Lot had been captured, he mobilized the 318 trained men who had been born into his household. Then he pursued Cadolaomer's army until he caught up with them at Dan. There he divided his men and attacked during the night. Cadolaomer's army fled, but Abram chased them as far as Hobah, north of Damascus. Abram recovered all the goods that had been taken, and he brought back his nephew Lot, with his possessions and all the women and other captives. Melchizedek Blesses Abram After Abram returned from his victory over Cadolaomer and all his allies, the king of Sodom went out to meet him in the valley of Sheva, that is, the king's valley. And Melchizedek, the king of Salem, and a priest of God Most High, brought Abram some bread and wine. Melchizedek blessed Abram with this blessing. Blessed be Abram by God Most High, creator of heaven and earth, and blessed be God Most High, who has defeated your enemies for you. Then Abram gave Melchizedek a tenth of all the goods he had recovered. The king of Sodom said to Abram, Give back my people who were captured but you may keep for yourself all the goods you have recovered. Abram replied to the king of Sodom, I solemnly swear to the Lord God Most High, creator of heaven and earth, that I will not take so much as a single thread or sandal thong from what belongs to you. Otherwise you might say, I am the one who made Abram rich. I will accept only what my young warriors have already eaten, and I request that you give a fair share of the goods to my allies, Aner, Eshkel, and Mamre.